Oh my god, there's a bass right there taking off. You guys just wrapped up another morning of pond fishing with the rat. Had a decent amount of success. Had a lot of short strikes here um, today. This video is going to be of yesterday and today. This morning, yesterday was kind of overcast. We had a little bit more action, but this morning we had a couple decent hits. They were just all those fish were like short striking or just coming up and mouthing it. But we still had had fun this morning it's getting hot guys it's getting hot quick in the middle of july i uh, didn't have a lot of time to fish this morning we're getting ready to head to arkansas just for my my parents and definitely be doing some fishing out there with my dad there's a lot better rivers and lakes out there and we're actually gonna be getting out in the boat so i'm super excited for that hopefully i'll have some content from this trip coming up but i hope you guys enjoy the video Please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video if you liked it. And at the end of this video, I'm going to kind of break down how I fish this rat and the techniques that are working for me in these smaller bodies of water. So you guys, if you just want to watch the fishing action, just go ahead and watch the fishing action if you want to see that stick all the way through the end. Alright guys, enjoy the video. So there's a lot of... Uh rats that live along. Oh my god, there's a bass right there taking off. That was so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> I saw that fish. I spooked him and he started slowly swimming off. And uh, <laughs> I threw it out there and he ate it. That's insane. Alright. Aren't you guys? So I don't even remember what exactly I, was, I don't even remember exactly what I was saying. I think I was saying something about these. There's a lot of rats around this this pond. But anyways, I uh, was walking up and I saw a fish, kind of spook. He was swimming off. I could see him on top. And I threw this out there. He came up there and just destroyed it right away. It's awesome. Not a real big fish, but that was insane. Hopefully we can uh, do it again. Get the release on this guy real quick. There he goes. Right out there. Oh, we got hit already. I don't know, I throw everything back, I don't keep anything. <laughs> then you just have to clean it. So. <laughs> yeah. You have a good one. You too. Thank you. Alright guys, another fish on the rat. Alright guys, second one on the rat. Let's see what else we can do. Alright you guys, it's the next morning. We uh, don't have very much time to fish. So I'm probably just gonna walk around this pond twice real quick. We got a little bit different conditions. Definitely bright and sunny this morning, so we'll see if top water's still gonna get the job done. But my plan is to go around once with the rat and then we're gonna punch through this grass the second time and we're gonna dip out of here. So hopefully we can get on some action this morning. Let's do this thing. Go, 
freaking reel popped out of the reel seat. <laughs> Look at that. I thought it broke for a second. I thought I'd be pissed. I need to crank that thing down. Finally. Tough morning. Tough, tough morning. Alright. Yeah, he got wrecked by that rat. It's a decent fish too. It's ate up by that thing. Alright y'all, we've been grinding this morning. Uh, finally, finally got a bite on this rat. This guy was not coming off. My freaking reel came out of the reel seat. I guess it, it just loosened up over time. I had to put some electrical tape on that. But, this was tough to catch this fish this morning. Uh, got about half this pond to fish and then the fish again with, um, with that little crawl bait. So we'll see if we can get another fish. Yeah, there's not really anywhere I can get super close to the water. Maybe right in here. Oh, this ain't bad. Get him back. There we go. All right, you guys, before I break down how I fish these rats, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you all. You made it this far into the video. Thanks for watching the video, as well as thanks for all the support lately. We've um, my channel has been growing quite a bit. I know I only have like 130 something subscribers, but this last month we have taken off. So I just want to say thank y'all for watching, continuing to watch my videos, for subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, commenting. It's it's really motivating and it's getting me amped up to get out there and fish as much as I possibly can. All right, now that I've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about how I'm fishing these lures. So, all the fish that you guys have seen caught so far in my videos is going to be off of the 40 size. Um, I have been bitten on this, I haven't shown it in any of my videos, just haven't had a whole lot of action. Doesn't mean that I don't have confidence in this bait, it's just every time I throw this bait I'm getting eight lately. With that being said, I just want to cover the differences other than obviously the size of these fit or these rats um, and then I'll get into the ways that I fish these lures. The main difference between these two lures is with, with the way they fish is there's really two main differences. The bigger one floats a lot better. I'm not saying that it it's a better thing just saying that it does stay up. It's a lot harder to crank it down. Me personally, I don't fish these cranked underneath the water. So that is one benefit of having this. And the other difference is that the knocking when you're fishing this is a lot. It's not a lot louder, but it is noticeably louder with the 50 size. But let's talk about the 40 size because this is the one that I've been fishing with a lot lately. And I'll talk about the three different ways that I fish this specific lure. The main way that I'm fishing it, hold on, there's a plane. All right, so the main way that I'm fishing this lure is throwing it out there along the bank, along the grass line, anything along those lines. Even I'll throw it out in the middle of a pond, something like that, but it's just slowly reeling it, reeling it in. When you're doing that, these, um, these rats have a nice knocking noise and they throw up a decent sized wake and this tail is just going crazy. So you're gonna get plenty of action just throwing this out there and reeling it in. And I'm convinced that 90% of the fish, 95% of the fish that I've caught off of this thing, I could have caught just doing that. Um, but there are certain instances where I like to do something a little bit different. And I'll try to put the clips in, show you, so you can kind of get a reference of what I'm doing differently. So, say I'm casting along a bank or grass line, something along those lines, and maybe there's a, a change. Maybe there's some sort of stick up. Maybe the grass pokes out a little bit further. A certain area, maybe I'm coming up to an overhanging limb, something along those lines. Once I get to that limb or that grass, anything else, I will stop and give a twitch 
And that's gonna change it from coming straight like this to where it's gonna start doing a little bit more movement like that. It's gonna be cut more side to side instead of kind of swimming motion. It's gonna cut and it's gonna throw off a lot louder clanking sound like that. Um, so yeah, once I come up to whatever change it is, I might pop it a few times, let it sit in that strike zone just a little bit longer. Um, and me personally, I think that helps. It, the fish may have bit it, me just reeling it straight by, but that's just something that I do that I've seen, I've gotten bit off of doing that. So the third way that I fish this lure, and there's just certain time that I like to fish this, or certain instance that I like to fish this, fish this lure this way. Sorry, stumbling over my words. Anyways, is if there's like a cut in the bank, something along those lines, um, maybe it'd be just something to where this fish could be in that area, but maybe you don't know exactly where that fish is sitting. And I have a specific um, clip that I'm gonna put down, I'll probably have rolling right now. But is I hold the rod tip up and it causes this lip to fight against the line, okay? So I reel while the rod tips up and it almost puts this rat nose down and it, you can see it just flipping like this and it throws off a really, really, really big wake. It's kind of fighting against it and it's making that knocking sound very, very loud. And I've had my most aggressive bite fishing it this way. There was a little cut in this pond I just threw across and fished it that way and that fish came up and just destroyed it. I just feel like doing that, throwing that bigger wake, getting that la louder um, knocking so sound and still being able to fish it, not so slow, really calls those fish that are around. And guys, that's really the main three ways that I fish this lure. And I've had a lot of success. You guys have seen this is the second video that I posted with this rat and I just kind of want to break it down for you guys real quick so y'all could kind of understand what I'm doing and I'm sure there's a million other ways a million other things that you can do with this rat one other thing I want to say is um, definitely throw this rat in it and the thick stuff this bill helps a lot sometimes the grass or sticks things will get caught on the bill I'll just I'll rip it Actually, the second fish that I caught in this video, that's what happened. You might see me, you'll see me, you can't really see the fish eat it, but you see me jerk the rod, and then a few seconds later I get hit. So this, I reeled it through and I hit some grass, and I just yanked it through, and it got all the grass off the lure, I started reeling again, and he just came up and destroyed it. So don't be afraid to throw this up in thick stuff. It, um, it comes out really well. And usually if it, anything does get caught on it, you just, pop your rod tip a few times it comes off so guys thanks for watching the video like i said thanks for subscribing liking the videos commenting sharing your experiences and um please go ahead and share this video let people know about my channel once we hit 200 subscribers i want to do another giveaway i'm going to do something a little bit better than last time last time was my first one i want to step up the game so guys stay tuned to the channel thanks for watching